I always try to think I'm a good listener, but that's always, you know, that's also like another thing. It's like, maybe I'm not a good listener. Maybe that's also something I'm assuming about myself. <laughs> it's something that I've been coming to terms with, that the story that I've been told up till now is not necessarily the full story. You know, at first it is really overwhelming because at some point you don't want to think like, oh, I can't believe what my ancestors have done to the other people and things like that. And you, you, it feels like a challenge. You almost want to just like back out and just say, no, I, that's not what I saw. Being able to tell every part of the story. There's so much, I feel like, context that starts from like before the civil rights movement um, through now and being sure to not leave any part of the story out. To me, story stewardship is more about listening and learning from someone's story and not trying to take over or insert yourself into the story, like just taking a step back from a non-judgmental point of view and just listening. And you can't really trust someone's story, believe it, and use it for good without also walking with them. Active listening believing the person, just being able to be by them and affirm what they're doing, what they're saying, what they've experienced. And that's something that's like really important now. It can be a little difficult um, if you go into t talking to people kind of with like any sort of preconceived notions which I know is difficult to not have those because we all kind of think we know things even if we don't mean to assume, we do. Difficult things that maybe make you look bad or make white people look bad to hear those stories, but to just try to keep an open mind um, and to not take things personally. Just, you know, being fully there in the moment and letting them speak without well, I was told this, or trying to interrupt them and just, you know, saying, you know, I hear you and I understand you and tell me more. Tell me what you want me to get out of this experience. I feel like story stewardship kind of has like two sides to it. One as being the storyteller and one as being the person receiving the story. And I feel like both of them have a respond like different responsibilities in how they tell the story or how they receive the story. And so as someone who would be, I guess, the steward of a story, someone who's telling the story, um, I guess their responsibility would try to be as, you know, authentic to the story as possible. Um, I remember the chapter that we read about cultivating human connection mentioned um, the importance of understanding the impact of human emotions and using that in your story um, to, to be able to connect with your audience and I think that's really important. But I also think it's important for whoever is receiving the story to also understand the impact of human emotions and how that affects them and how they um, intake what is being told to them. I'm ultimately here to be a better person and to re-educate myself. So by you telling, you know, your story to me and, you know, feeling like you have that trust in me, that is some that's a kind of like an unforgettable feeling and you feel almost honored to be like I'm so happy that you take me as a person that that you think can learn from your experience. And even in sharing from my own and being able to be corrected by my classmates and be like, well, I get that you were taught this, but here's the reality of, you know, my situation is, is something that I will carry on for the rest of my life. It is not easy work that I ask them to do. It is, it is very, very challenging, but it's work that we must do together and we must come together through the process of story stewardship to really think about how we can hear each other, believe each other, and be present with each other as we go through this experience and hear the stories of the people from the past and think about how we can make a better world, not only on the campus of Berea College, but in the United States as a whole.